Here's a piece of ancient history. It is a TR uh, Magna TS, sorry. That's a 2.6. This car should have been off the road long ago, but anyway. I'm going to show you how to just check the codes, and it's really easy to check the uh, codes. Okay. Uh, over here you've got the diagnostic plug and that bottom right bottom right pin is the one you want connect a low voltage LED test light um, you can clip it on there but I choose to do it this way and on and off door or Okay. First flashes are the 10 group and the quick flash is the 1. So here you've got 1. Oh, we'll start again. 1, 2, 3. Sorry, that was 21. I'll just start again. Two flashes there and a quick one. So that's 21. One, two, 21. One, two, three, four, 41. Twenty-one. And for your reference, here are the codes here. Really easy. So forty-one's fuel injectors because I've got one disconnected. Twenty-one coolant temperature sender. This car seems to give a different code every time I start it. Um, could have been the thirty-one as before. It's knock sensor as well. That's the layout there. Uh, I'll just go through, I'll show you that so you can see that, and um, here's the position of the electronics for your reference, it's not saying where the knock sensor is, hmm. I'll have to find that separately, there's a wiring diagram. Let's run through these, you can pause them for your own reference. Very rare we go back to these books, but um, it's certainly quicker than putting a scanner on it. Um, our scanner does not actually do this car. <laughs> it all hooks on and fits, but uh, it doesn't seem to do anything. There's the knock sensor. And that's that. Oh, the next page goes to the V6, but this is the 4. Um, and that's um, how you check codes on the Magna of this era. It was a uh, car of the year, time and time again, for its uh, s nice styling and smooth Astron uh, four-cylinder. It's got a balance shaft in it. it. used to be a very smooth car. Now all the timing chains rattle, and you'd want to pay particular attention to raising that idle speed <coughs> just a little bit higher if your timing chain's rattling. You can do that as well by advancing the timing just a little bit. Uh, and always make sure that that breather line is not blocked because that's why they just piss oil everywhere, these ones. Uh, airflow meters are a common problem on them. You can see we changed that last week. 
That's the common vortex system where it sends little beams across, measures the interference in the beam uh, to determine the airflow. There's a built-in intake temperature sensor there. And, you know, they're the weak points of the car. But at this age, you do get the electronics failing um, all at once, literally. Um, they came in a wagon as well. And the V6 is just a different story altogether. But that's the four. Um, maybe that would have been some use to you guys. Thank you. Bye.